If you've been following updates on the confirmed cases of the new coronavirus in Texas, then you may have noticed different numbers coming from different websites. It's been a little bit confusing, but hopefully that will change in the next few days. RJ Marquez tells us why. The Texas Tribune reports that state officials are changing the way COVID-19 confirmed cases are reported due to several discrepancies with the overall numbers. Before today, the state was tracking cases by county of residence, so that basically meant if a UT student from San Antonio was infected and treated in Austin, that case would go toward Bear County's overall numbers. But some counties were not on the same page and had been reporting anyone who tested positive in that jurisdiction. Officials with the Texas Department of Health Services told the Tribune that the state's new method will now use public numbers directly from local jurisdictions. The state was previously relying on the official case forms from local health departments, but those numbers had been coming in later than the public updates. Another issue has been national reporting of state-by-state -state cases. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention was lagging behind Texas' numbers, but now directly links its map to state health departments, including ours. The CDC also does not confirm presumptive cases, but another reliable source, Johns Hopkins University, does. Johns Hopkins has a real-time map of COVID-19 cases that include presumptive positive cases. As of 3.30 p.m. Wednesday, Johns Hopkins confirmed 1,143 cases in Texas, while the state had reported 974. The numbers will inevitably fluctuate and due to limited testing are most likely being undercounted. Bottom line, health experts say Texans should look to their local health authorities for the best data. For The Nine, RJ Marcus.